So this is a bit of a different kind of video. This video is for the people in your life who are trying to support you, for your friends and your family who don't know what to do to help you after you have been in a toxic relationship, when you are discarded, when you choose to leave and, and, and they are not understanding and they can't understand the fact that you wanna go back, the fact that you wanna reach out to that toxic person, how heartbroken you are over losing someone who was so bad for your life. To them, logically, this is a better thing for you, right? Like, obviously, to a mother or a father who is a, a good, supportive family, seeing their their adult child go through a toxic relationship and come out of it, they think, thank goodness this is over, and now this, this my child can, you know, have the healing that they need. But it's not always easy. It's not as simple as that. It's not just it's not just cut and dry. Okay, so we're going to talk about that. My name's Lise Colucci. I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic relationships from narcissistic people and help you transform your life after you've been in those relationships. Okay, so if you need coaching, group coaching, or peer support, please check out the information in the main description of every video. There's lots of info there on help support. And then as always hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. Okay, you guys. So if you are watching this and you have someone in your life who has been in a toxic relationship and you don't know how to help them and you're even asking them, what do you need? What can I help you with? What, 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 what do you need? What's going on? And they can't answer because guess what? They don't know. They don't know what they need right now. Somebody who has been through a toxic relationship, who has had a narcissistic person manipulate them, is in a little bit of a brain fog right now. They are what's called trauma bonded, meaning they're kind of addicted. Their brains and their hearts and everything is in conflict. They know oftentimes with their minds, the person that you care about, right now knows with their mind how bad that toxic person was but their hearts aren't caught up yet okay because there's all kinds of chemical things that go on in the body from the way and the nature the manipulations happen okay and because of that this thing happens called trauma bonding and i'm going to link some resources to explain that better so that you can understand it so we're going to keep going here for the sake of time <laughs> okay to the important part, how can you be of support? What can you do? Number one, if you are taking care of someone else in a situation where they are struggling, they are depressed, they are scared, all of that, okay? Take care of yourself. First thing, self-care all around for everybody. So by example, when you are with someone, you can show self-care examples to that person. So remind them about self-care. Hey, self-care I've heard is important. What are you doing for yourself today? Right? In a gentle way, not in a way like you're supposed to be doing the self-care. Are you? What's the matter with you? Why aren't you doing it? Right? Like obviously you wouldn't do that, but I'm being silly to lighten it up a little because I know how difficult it is to be in the position of support for other people, obviously. Right? And not see the progress as fast as you'd like to see it. There is no timeline for healing with this. There is only a person's personal journey. Whatever got them in this situation, whatever in them they need to heal so that they don't ever have this situation again, whatever kept them in this situation is their own personal journey, their own personal individual you know, whatever it is for them. And that can take however long it takes for that person. Yes, we want our loved ones to feel better. We want our friends to feel better, our family members, whatever. And so reminding them about self-care through example. <laughs> Let me give you some examples of what I did today for myself. Maybe you could try some of these. You know what? When I ate lunch, I decided to sit down sounds silly but it was a simple act of sitting down that reminded me to slow down a second and take some time for myself that felt good okay reminding them how self-care works for you and and simple simple things i have some videos on self-care which give lots of examples on ways to incorporate it into a life that's very busy ways to incorporate self-care as an attitude rather than an action okay the internal self-care you know what loved one who went through this horrible thing 
I beat myself up a lot. I sit there and think, I wish I could help more. I must not be doing it right. And I start beating myself up. So I have to talk nice to myself on the inside. I tell myself, you're doing your best. Just keep going. Just take a breath, right? And by telling them what it is you do for yourself, for your own self-care, you can actually offer them an example that they could try or not try. It's up to them. Remember that this healing is up to the person who's been through it. They are the only ones who can heal what needs to be healed because they are the ones who experienced it. And we can assist. We can hold up beautiful, shiny mirrors of their wonderfulness and their you know, why they're amazing. And then we can give them space to do what they need to do for their own healing. So another thing that happens when someone's been with a toxic person is they lose touch with close people in their life, with friends and family and, and, and pretty much anyone that isn't in the narcissistic person's sphere of influence. Okay. So they've become isolated most likely, and they have a little bit of shame around that most likely. And so somebody who has been through this will feel very, very alone and they will feel like it's not safe to reach out to people. So encouraging safe relationships without pushing those safe relationships, just saying, hey, have you talked to your cousin? If it's a good relationship, right? And you know that because they've expressed that to you before. And you know, maybe that, maybe now's a good time to go just hang out with her for a bit or him for a bit, whatever, right? And encouraging them to be outside of the, the tiny little world that is just themselves, because that world that is just themselves is spinning and spinning and spinning the same stories and the traumatic things that have happened to them over and over again. And so sometimes knowing that they can reach out, whether they do it or not, is a little doorway that shows them, ah, oh, when I'm ready, there's that, okay? Don't push them toward it, just encourage it, remind them, remind them that of the relationships that they've had, remind them that you're there, remind them that they can reach out to a coach or a therapist or someone like that. And that person can be their external person for a little while to help them through this situation. And that it's okay to need support, it's okay to reach out. And also for those of you watching who are the survivor going, nobody gets me in my family, right? Remember that your family can't get this if they've never experienced it. So finding people who have been through it, peer support, coaching support, whatever it is, can be very, very useful, at least for a little while, to help you get the validation that you need and understand what it is you went through and finding tips for you personally on how to navigate your way through. If there was one way or five ways even to heal from this, it, it would be easy right? But this is such an individual journey and such a personal journey that, that there really isn't. It really requires for some people the one-to-one -one communication with someone who knows how to help get you past where you are right now. Okay, so that's okay. And, and reaching out to friends might not look like, let me tell you everything that just happened. It might be Will you please distract me for 15 minutes? What are you watching on Netflix? You know what I mean? Things like that to help the distraction. If you are that friend they're reaching out to, ask them how much they need to talk about, right? And offer them things that are distraction. Ask them if that feels okay. Does it feel okay if I just give you some distraction right now? Because if you can't understand it, it will, as a person supporting, it potentially will drain you. Okay, and it'll be hard to listen to over and over again, because the nature of this type of abusive relationship is painful and confusing when you haven't experienced it. You think, why would someone stay in that? Okay, there's lots of things you think when you haven't been there. Totally fair. But understand that the person who just went through it has been there. Okay, so encouraging them to talk to someone who, who has been there can be really useful. And then having your own, um, I don't want to say boundaries, but kind of boundaries with it. Like, you know what? I'm, I'm at a point today where I can't listen to more of this today because I don't know how to help you. Do you think we could do this instead? Or can we come back to this in, in a little bit so that you're not being drained by the helping, right? That's part of the self-care. So it can be very difficult and very painful and very hard on relationships when you're supporting as well. 
and also it can be beautiful and helpful and wonderful and it is exactly what people need so that's why we're talking about it okay so another thing that's helpful when you're trying to help someone in your life is reminding them it's one foot in front of another for a little while just one thing right now what's just one thing you need a shower go take a shower you need some food go eat some food it's back to the basics keep it simple keep it basic nothing too much this isn't go out and date and meet someone new and it'll be great and you'll forget all about this situation this wasn't a bad day this was a toxic pattern in someone's life that has now affected them okay so give it some time Remind them to keep it simple, one step at a time, okay? And I'm gonna leave with one more thing here and we'll keep talking about this. If you guys can put some comments in the comment section and I'll add to it or I'll create a second video to keep talking about this if it's, if it's wanted because I think it's an important piece and it's missing in the videos out there on what to do for your friends and family, okay? So a really important thing to remember or to understand or know is that the person in your life who went through this was with this toxic person doesn't know who they are anymore legitimately they've lost their sense of self they've lost their self-worth most likely okay they've lost their self-worth they've lost their spark they've lost their joy they've had to shut their emotions down in order to survive a relationship they're coming out of what feels like a war zone for them okay they're not going to just jump into the world fresh as a daisy ready to go okay and when you shut your emotions down to the negative it also covers up your ability to feel the positive so it's not like you can just turn a dial and only turn off the parts you don't want to feel and then the rest of it stays alive no it it, sh it numbs everything out and flattens so the person's ability to feel joy to laugh at comedy to to even really be present to you as a friend or family member right is is limited right now it takes a while months sometimes okay this isn't a fast thing be patient allow them their space take your space as you need it don't try to be the only person who is there for them encourage them to get the help that they need just keep being you and the wonderful support that you already are okay so knowing someone's lost like that they can find themselves they can rediscover who they are they can create a whole more vibrant version of themselves through healing from this okay a lot of lessons are learned and a lot of self-awareness is taught if someone uses this experience for growth and expansion and that is why giving them the space to do it not rushing them and not pushing them is super useful and at the same time keeping it light keeping it loving keeping it kind okay and without a lot of pushing it's tough love here doesn't work okay it usually will drive someone deeper inside themselves they already feel pretty bad about themselves and i know it's really hard and i know it's really sad and i know that it is a lot to take on so take good care of you and Thank you for the blessing that you are in someone else's life. I am Lise Colucci and hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.